hello happy people i'm back with another video and today i am going to be showing you all how to get this beautiful look these are some nice dark purple nails with some beautiful rhinestones got a little bling here at the cuticle area so stay tuned to see how i get this look um these here are the products i'll be using got the beetles top coat and the uh builder gel for my base um, i'm also going to be using um the beetles gel polish and nail glue um the gel polish is in the color 222 this is from one of the kits that i got from beetles um, i'll leave everything linked down in the comments below again this is another look at the nail glue this actually came in the beetles nail tip and glue kit and i really like using it to adhere rhinestones which as you can see these are the rhinestones i'll be using at the cuticle area and i think that's it okay i got my wax pencil that's what i'll be using to pick up my rhinestones um cuticle stick and i think that's it let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial so as you all can see i'm doing something a little bit different here um i'm doing a voiceover this is my first voiceover all right um oh i guess here i am showing how i prep the nails yeah okay so yeah spraying with alcohol and just wiping down with a lint free wipe so yeah this is my first voiceover um just wanted to try something different with this video i hope you all had a wonderful christmas and are having a great new year so far happy 2022 you guys um i want to take this time to just thank everybody um who has been subscribed to my channel and who is new to my channel yeah, I really appreciate you all being super active and commenting. I love interacting with you all. And yeah, I love this happy family we've built here. So yeah, I appreciate each and every last one of you guys. And we are well on our way to a thousand subscribers, you guys. At the time of filming this video, I think I'm at 942 subscribers. So getting really close to a thousand, super excited about that. Um, but yeah, right here in the video, we are going in with the builder gel as my base coat. I find that I like the look of this, um, a lot better than using regular base coat. It just adds a little bit of thickness to the nails. Um, and then I'm cleaning up my cuticle area here, getting it nice and clean before I put it into the led lamp. Um, well, I guess before I cure it. So yeah i'm gonna just flip my hands over here for 10 seconds and pop it in the lamp so after that i'm gonna go in with my gel color of choice so i'm using this beautiful purple color from the beetles kit um, i really enjoy beetles gel polishes a lot so yes i feel like i've been doing a lot of talking so i'm gonna just let you guys sit back relax and enjoy me doing uh, my nails and i'll pop in here in a second Okay, so as you all can see, I just applied two colors of the gel polish. I capped the free edge um, after each coat and cured it for a full 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with that nail glue from Beetles and I'm going to be applying my rhinestones. Um, I applied one larger rhinestone towards the middle and then two smaller ones around uh, that cuticle area to get it nice and cute. And here you just see me, I'm just applying the glue to um, all the nails first and then I'm gonna apply the rhinestones and just kind of line them up the way I want them and yeah I'm gonna let you all kind of just watch me do that here
Okay, so with this particular uh, video, I really wanted to try to keep as much real time in as possible. Just to show you all how quick and easy doing a gel manicure is. Um, I think this video only ended up being like 15 minutes long. And so it's really easy and quick to do gel polish manicures, which I used to do all the time. But now I've just kind of been experimenting more with different type of um, nail products but you know tried and true for me is a good gel polish manicure and a good dip powder dip manicure so yeah I'm just I left it in the real time here just to show you all how quick and easy it was I did the three fingers first flipped it over and cured it and then I went ahead and did the pinky last um, just because it's a little bit smaller and so the uh, rhinestones wouldn't be moving around so yeah i guess it's gonna be a kind of a chatty video i'm kind of curious to know what you all think about me doing voiceovers again like i said it is new for me so um yeah i just figured it'd be uh something a little bit different um i do re pre-record a lot of my content just so that i could try to stay as consistent as possible for you guys and so I know sometimes when I release my videos, um, you know, the content might be a little bit older. Um, and so I'm thinking voiceovers might be a good way to kind of still stay recent in what I'm at least talking about in my videos um, while also still, you know, getting out the footage that I pre-recorded. So let me, know, let me know what you all think about the voiceovers. If you like it, that's cool. I'll keep them. If not, then I'll go back to my regular, uh, just kind of talking as I do my nails, which while doing the voiceover, I kind of think I prefer that just because editing is a lot quicker and easier. But um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll be interested to hear what your thoughts are in the comments. So let me know which one you all prefer. I'm open either way. Just want to make sure it's a good viewing and watching experience for you all. So here I'm going to go ahead and cure these rhinestones again for those 60 seconds and then now i'm applying my top coat to all the nails so yeah i'm gonna apply my top coat and i'll be back with you all shortly let's get into it let's get into it all right you guys ain't she cute though i really like how this set came out it's nice simple cute chic with a little bit of bling y'all know i'm loving my bling lately so yeah i'm really liking how this set turned out um yeah i did them on both hands here and also you guys um i want to take this time to let you all know that every single thursday at 8 p.m i am going to be premiering a video so i'm going to be able to watch the video live with you all as we are doing right here and um yeah we can chat about the awesomeness that we're witnessing right in front of us so yeah uh, make sure you all tune in every thursday at eight um so that i can chat with you all as y'all watch me do my nails okay um so yeah now you see me applying cuticle oil to all of my fingers to keep them nice and hydrated and yeah that's it i'm absolutely loving how this set turned out it was really cute um like i said quick simple easy to do um and yeah, make sure you all stay tuned until the end because I am going to do like a Manny update to let you all know how this wore. Y'all using that nail glue as a nail adhesive, it's bomb.com. Yeah, I was really impressed at how well this stuff held up. You'll see at the end when I do my Manny update, but I don't think I'll ever use another nail glue again. Like this stuff is really good. 
I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays videos. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Okay, happy people, I'm back with an update and I just wanna show you all how these rhinestones are holding up on my nails. Um, they are still going strong. I am absolutely impressed. Um, this is six days later, so almost a week later and not one gem has fell, fallen off. Like, I'm shocked. So I think the way that I applied these rhinestones and the video is going to be the way that I apply them moving forward. I hope that I am able to get uh, two weeks of wear out of this. I'm going to leave them on just a little bit longer to see how long this glue lasts. But y'all, this might be a hack. That Beatles nail glue, I think is a really great adhesive for rhinestones. Like, oh my gosh. I saw in the comments of an Amazon video that someone used the nail glue for applying the rhinestones and I've been looking for a rhinestone glue and y'all I think it works so yeah this is just a six day update like I said almost a week of wear and nothing has popped off and I have not been generous I actually did a family vacation recently and I was we went to the beach we went to the pool boat cruise all of that I've been giving my little one baths been washing dishes everything and y'all these rhinestones are still on so okay now I think I am here for this. So I will keep you all updated. I'll try to do another update, but if not, I'm thinking this is a hack. So yeah, I'm going to leave everything linked down in the comments, but I am loving this so far. Okay, so I am back with another update and these nails have been on my hands for a total of two exact weeks, so 14 days. And I must say, first off, that nail glue from Beatles is probably the best rhinestone adhesive that's out on the market right now, okay? So you all see my rhinestones have not budged one bit. I am like just impressed and floored at the fact that this stuff is still on my hands, okay? So these nails have survived um, a family vacation, a family photo shoot. They've survived a one-year-old's birthday party. Um, prepping for that, cleaning for it afterwards. Um, my hands have been soaked in water for prolonged periods of time. I've been to the beach, everything with these nails. And these rhinestones are still in place. Like, are you kidding me? Yes, this is the best rhinestone glue ever. So, um, the Beatles nail glue, whoa. Okay, this review was supposed to just be, you know, be doing a regular gel polish set, but I didn't even think that this bling would last that long on these nails. The only thing I had pop off was this finger right here. One of the rhinestones came off, but honestly, this shows how strong the glue is. So, the back of the rhinestone is still in the glue. It's just the top of the rhinestone fell off, right? And then the same thing happened with this finger over here. But besides that, everything else is intact. Like, what? And so, the reason I actually did the update, I wasn't sure if I was going to come back on here or not. Because I was just going to take my nails off off camera. But, I was uh, just washing dishes and this nail just so happened to come off because there was a little bit of lifting. But still, to talk about how good the glue is, you see all the rhinestones are still on the nail, okay? All right, so <laughs> I just wanted to can come and give you all a two week update. This is how the nail was on just now, but you can see all that growth. And it just, it just kind of fell off. My, like I said, my hand was soaking in some water and that was already a little bit of lifting, so it just kind of lifted the nail right off. So that's fine by me. I'm actually getting ready to take this set off because as you can see, this new growth ain't no joke, but I'm just really impressed at the fact that these rhinestones are at the cuticle area and they did not pop off. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this review or update. And if you all have not checked out the Beatles Nail Glue for using it as a rhinestone adhesive, 
you definitely should that's what I'm gonna be using moving forward I probably will yeah I won't use anything else the only other thing I've used in the past is builder gel but I'm sold on this stuff holy smokes like this stuff is indestructible and I mean I'm talking I bang my nails on stuff just back and forth and just nothing happens to it like I'm really impressed with this stuff. Anywho, um, yeah, I will leave the link for this product down in the description box. So if you all want to get your hands on it, you can. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video.